Hello and welcome to SEMPTE Elections 2018. I'm Lane Cooper with Mindshare Capture Consulting, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to some of the key players in our community who are running for elected roles in the SEMPTE organization. Extremely fortunate today to catch up with Pat Griffiths, who's actually running for the presidency. He's going to be the running for the presidential position with SEMPTE. Pat, thank you so much for taking a few moments to chat with us today. Thanks. Thank you, Lane. It's an opportunity to share my perspective with everyone today. So as you, uh, you know, looked at your options and decided to, in addition to your full plate uh, of work at Dolby, uh, uh, what drove you to pursue this elected position with Sempi, that to, to lead the entire organization? Uh, well, I attended my first Sempi standards meeting, um, so, again, more years than I care to think about, probably 30 years ago. And at the time, I saw an environment where competitors could achieve uh, balanced outcomes through a well, <clears throat> well-defined due process methodology. I was impressed and I was hooked. Uh, and over the years, I've become more engaged and passionate about the organization and the people who are in it. And now I feel it's my turn to pay it forward. So as you uh, look, look ahead and uh, look forward, uh, what are some of the key things that you would like to accomplish over a Pat Griffith's uh, uh, tenure in the presidency of, uh, of uh, SEMPTE? Uh, well, elected, uh, some of my key priorities are, clearly we are a standards organization and certainly outpacing and where appropriate, uh, perhaps partner with uh, organizations uh, who are doing standards in our field of interest. Uh, another key issue for us is expanding our membership to the next generation of technologists. Uh, there's certainly a lot of graying in SIMTI and we'd like to get some young blood in. Uh, and then continue our emphasis on cutting edge technologies. Entertainment uh, frontiers continue to advance and I'd like to be, be there with SIMTI in, in technologies in our field of interest. And finally, um, we are a partnership with HPA and I'd like to strengthen that. Uh, so that collectively we become the uh, authoritative source for both the science and the art of storytelling. I think together we actually are one of the leading organizations. So uh, if we can get all those done, it'll be a great tenure. So, you know, you, you've talked about a, a generational shifts, generations of technology, gener new generation of standards, and a new generation of people that come into it. Uh, how do you think uh, uh, these can work? Is this something that can be pursued uh, in an integrated manner, or are these things that have to occur separately? What is your view on how we can look at these uh, priorities of yours in a holistic fashion? Well, I think um, in, in terms of the next generation, I think one of the challenges for SIMTI is awareness. Uh, within our circle, our sphere of influence, I think we're well known and respected, but the new generation of folks who are uh, active with the internet, I live in Silicon Valley, you know, they're the Googles, the Apples, uh, the Cisco's. Uh, many of the young uh, engineers who are in entertainment don't even know we exist. So I think part of our challenge is awareness getting greater awareness of what it is we do, what our, our value is, how we can help people grow in their careers uh, through relationship and network uh, techniques to do that. Outstanding. So before I let you go, final thoughts, uh, final message to the electorate as they as they consider your candidacy and uh, and, and we move into this next phase, this uh, next uh, uh, eon uh, of, uh, of SEMTI's ongoing contribution to the body of knowledge in this very important space. Well, I'll talk a little bit about why I think SIMTI is, is important. Uh, I like to make jokes, as you know, uh, and I often joke that SIMTI sets the standards for the stars uh, and people kind of roll their eyes. But in fact, I think there's an a element of truth in that because we've been the leading organization for decades to set standards for the media and entertainment ecosystem. And I think SIMTI is a world-class organization and we have a lot to offer to the industry and our members. And, you know, if elected, I will do my best to, to you know, bring that into greater fruition, to make SIMTI even greater again. <laughs> 
Outstanding, Pat. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you for sharing your vision and thank you for all the years that you've provided a leadership uh, and input to, again, I agree, I share your view on this very, very important organization. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you, Lane. Thank you, everyone.